With the launch of Beyond Light, all 150 hand cannon archetypes, except for Sunshot, were moved to the 140 RPM archetype. And with Hawkmoon recently being reintroduced to the Destiny 2 universe through a quest, we now have three very strong 140 RPM exotic hand cannon options to use in PvP. Hawkmoon, Thorn, and Ace of Spades. However, each of them have a very unique place within the Crucible meta. Is there one that pairs better with a sniper versus a shotgun and vice versa? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Man of Cole and today let's compare Hawkmoon, Thorn and Ace of Spades. Before we get started, make sure to click the red subscribe button right underneath this video as it's a free way to support the channel. I make destiny guides every week from things like PVP loadouts, weapon testing, and PVP meta guides. So if you haven't already, make sure to click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so in this video, we are going to be answering three different questions pertaining to each of these weapons. The first and probably the most sought after answer is which of these hand cannons performs better than the others, meaning which one will have the fastest time to kill or more specifically, which one has a more optimized time to kill. The second question we will answer is which hand cannons will perform best with different loadouts. For example, which ones perform better when used with shotguns versus snipers and so on. Lastly, we will answer the ultimate question of which one should you use. Let's start by talking about the stats and perks of Hawkmoon, Thorn, and Ace of Spades. On your screen right now, I will put some side-by-side -side comparisons of each of these weapons base stats. And as you can see, there are quite a few discrepancies between the three. Hawkmoon has the highest overall stability handling, reload, and aim assistance out of all three hand cannons. Ace of Spades has the highest magazine size, range stat by a lot, and tied for the highest recoil control, meaning it has the least amount of recoil when shooting. Finally, Thorn comes in tied for the highest recoil control and the highest inventory size. Now, obviously weapon stats aren't the end all be all, but based on these stats that I've seen, Hawkmoon seems to have the best combined stats compared to the other two. That we could all probably agree on. Now, let's get into what makes these exotic hand cannons so special, their intrinsic perks. Let's start with Ace of Spades and its intrinsic perk, Memento Mori, which loads six extra damage bullets into the magazine when reloading after a kill. It also grants your radar while aiming down sights. With Memento Mori active, the Ace of Spades has an optimal time to kill of 0.87 seconds and a body shot time to kill of 1.33 seconds. So even though Memento Mori turns the crit damage on this weapon to a value of 90, the optimal time to kill remains the same. That's simply because it still requires three bullets to kill an opponent. However, instead of needing to hit three headshots in a row to achieve that 0.87 seconds, Memento Mori makes it so that you only need to hit one headshot and two body shots to kill your opponent. So while the overall time to kill doesn't change, the means to how you can kill someone significantly changes. Ace is very good when used at mid to long ranges, and can even act as a serviceable long range weapon on maps that are a bit smaller. Because of this, Ace pairs very well with shotgunning. It also allows you to engage in both mid to long range fights as well as defend yourself in close quarters combat. In my opinion, pairing Ace with a sniper doesn't feel as good as the other two hand cannons do. Not entirely sure why, but I would maybe say the main culprit is the significantly lower handling stat compared to Hawkmoon and Thorn. Ace feels just a little slower to handle than the other two, and just overall heavier to wield. Now obviously people can still be very successful using Ace and a sniper. But overall, especially on maps that are smaller and with shorter sight lines, pairing Ace with a sniper just doesn't seem like the optimal loadout. You'd be much better off using Ace with a shotgun. Next, let's talk about Thorn and its exotic perk, Mark of the Devourer, which states that rounds pierce targets and deal damage over time. Kills with this weapon leave behind remnants. Thorn also has a trait perk called Soul Devourer, which states that absorbing a remnant strengthens Mark of the Devourer and partially refills the magazine. With both of these perks active, Thorn has an optimal time to kill of 0.87 seconds and a body shot time to kill of 1.30 seconds. This is the same case as I mentioned before with Ace of Spades and having its damage boosting perk Memento Mori active. While Mark of the Devourer is active, you are increasing your damage over time, and while it does not statistically change the overall time to kill, what it does do is turn Thorn from a three headshot kill to a two head one body kill. Thorn is excellent in terms of overall stats, especially with its very high handling stat, making this weapon feel very easy to switch to and from whenever you need to. 
Because of this, I think Thorn pairs very well with shotgunning. And the main reason is because of the Mark of the Devourer perk. In order to utilize it, you need to actually go to the location, or at least relatively close enough, to where you killed someone so that you can pick up the buff. When you're shotgunning, it's very easy to be aggressive with your movement and go after those buffs when you have something to utilize in close quarters combat. Versus if you have a sniper, you're more likely to play a little more passive and not end up retrieving those buffs that drop from your thorn kills. Now, obviously if you are someone that is aggressive with sniping, that changes things a bit. In my opinion, pairing thorn with a shotgun is the most synergistic way of using this weapon. However, if you're someone who plays aggressive with a sniper, you could easily get away with using Thorn and a sniper effectively in PvP. Just make sure you're taking advantage of those remnants that are being dropped after each kill, and you'll be good as gold. Last and certainly not least, let's talk about Hawkmoon. If you play on a controller, this is one of the best feeling hand cannons in the game. It feels very sticky, and that's largely because of its 93 aim assistance, and its very manageable recoil control. Though, the highlight of this weapon is its exotic perk, Paracausal Shot, which states that final blows and precision hits with Hawkmoon grant stacks of Paracausal Charge. The final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks. Stowing Hawkmoon on the final round removes this bonus. Hawkmoon has an optimal time to kill of 0.87 seconds and a body shot time to kill of 1.73 seconds. These numbers can essentially get shoved to the side once you start to use your Paracausal Shots efficiently. To explain the perk in layman's terms, anytime you get a precision hit or a final blow, precision or not, you'll be granted one stack of paracausal charge. This can stack up to times seven. On the last round of the magazine, that bullet will do extra damage based on the total number of stacks of paracausal charge you have. The more you play with this perk and actually pay attention to it when you are playing, the more you're going to start to realize just how good this can really be. Depending on how many stacks you get before the final bullet, you can improve your time to kill anywhere from only needing a two crit one body shot to kill all the way up to only needing to body shot someone once to kill them. The latter, obviously, if you have a time seven paracausal charge. It can even one shot headshot a super with a time seven paracausal charge. So yes, this perk, believe it or not, is very strong in PVP, but you do have to be more intentional with how you use it compared to in Destiny 1 when its damage buff was quite literally based on luck. Hawkmoon is probably the most prolific hand cannon in terms of weapon stats in the entire game due to its high range, stability, handling, reload, and aim assistance. It's also the first exotic weapon to ever be capable of having random rolls. However, at the point of making this video, we don't have access to getting those random rolls yet, but with perks like Rangefinder, Opening Shot, Killing Wind, Moving Target, and a few others as possible options, this could really make this weapon stand in a league of its own. In my experience, Hawkmoon pairs well with sniping and shotgunning. The handling on this weapon is very good, meaning swapping back and forth between it and other weapons is much quicker than something like Ace of Spades. And it doesn't require you to intentionally move around the map like Thornwood in order to benefit from its exotic perk, Mark of the Devourer. In my opinion, Hawkmoon is one of, if not the most balanced hand cannons in the entire game. Balanced, meaning you can use it in almost any situation, on any map, and with any loadout. So this leads us to the final question to be answered in this video. Which one of these three almighty hand cannons should you use? And my answer to this comes with a few asterisks. First and foremost, it depends on your playstyle. If you're someone who likes to play more aggressively and feels more comfortable moving around the map at a faster pace, then Thorn may benefit your playstyle the most. If you are someone who likes to play a little more methodical and intentional, then Ace of Spades or Hawkmoon might be a good complement to your playstyle. Maybe you really enjoy shotgunning, then using Ace, Thorn, and Hawkmoon could be for you. Or maybe you really only like to snipe, then I would say Hawkmoon would be your best choice. It all comes down to how you plan on using each of these weapons in your arsenal, and the best person to answer that question for you is yourself. Hopefully you were able to take away something valuable from this video, and if you did, clicking the red subscribe button would really help out the channel. If you would like to know more about some of the best PvP hand cannons in the game, I made a video talking about which ones have the fastest time to kill and are the easiest to farm. A link to that video should be showing up on your screen right now. If you've got any questions or have any hot topics you'd like to discuss, leave them down below in the comments or follow me on Twitter at manofcole underscore. Links to my Twitch channel, Discord, and Destiny Clan are all in the description box down below. Thank you all very much for watching. A positive rating is always appreciated. And as always, we'll see ya.